我ら終末の日に使わされた白日の下にして草原の騎士だ Hey guys, J Mooney's here, bringing you another game of Blaze Blue. I gotta say, the more I use the replay theater on this game, the more I love the possibilities this brings.、Um, I've been finding out that, regardless of the amount of lag or connection issues I have while playing online,、uh, the replay mode will always display everything as it should happen with perfect connection. On top of that, you have. The wonderful ability to actually remove the music track. So, regardless of under what settings you used when playing online, it makes it super easy to just, you know, go over, swap music, so everything stays consistent despite how many rounds or how many different games you put up on your,、uh, on your video. That said, oddly enough, the one big problem that I've been having with online play. With, during my recent rediscovery of the game, is the presence of rage quitters. This was actually one of the big reasons why I switched over from Marvel because the problem was when you're, when you're working your way up to Fourth Lord and Marvel, you run into so many rage quitters on ranked match. And honestly, if you're afraid of losing, you really shouldn't be playing fighting games. But... Regardless, I switched over to this game thinking that it had a much more serious audience, which it does, but every once in a while I find the odd rage quitter during some of my better games, which isn't really that annoying to me, except for the fact that I can't save the replay for those games. So, you know, what can you do? But、uh, as you can see lately, I've been playing、uh, Jin a lot more often.、Uh, <laughs> I've been getting a little greedy with the instant kills since his is so easy to activate. But it's funny because last year I used to be really good with Bang, and now that I've come back to the game a year later, it's almost impossible for me to get my rhythm back with him. So I've been,、uh, I've been switching it up with different characters. So far, Jin's worked out the best、uh, technically, but、uh, I keep running into the issue where. I hit the C button way too often and it causes that spamming rapid slash attack, which I honestly wish he, just, wish he didn't have. But, you know, it makes me look like a masher. I guess to a certain degree, that's kind of what I am. But、uh, here you can see I finally get it done. For those of you who haven't been sticking around with the game for that long, they've released so far three downloadable characters, the most recent of which is Platinum the Trinity, which. I've been playing around with a lot recently.、Uh, you'll see in this upcoming gameplay, I'm actually playing the same guy multiple times because he's actually one of my friends. One of the great things about this is that he's actually not very good at all, so it makes him perfect、uh, <laughs> dummy practice with this new character. It's, she is an odd one. She does not look like she belongs in this game at all. Like, As you can tell, she's got that weird magical girl thing. And, like, the neat thing about Platinum is that every time you use the drive move, it summons a different kind of weapon. Each weapon that she summons has a certain number of stock attacks. That you, so, you can use each weapon a limit of times, and each weapon has a special property. Like, the baseball bat has. Super armor, or not really super armor, but a certain degree of invincibility while swinging. The stick with the cat's head on it causes automatic knockdown. The frying pan causes hit stun. She's very versatile, and, and her tactics tend to change up really quickly, so it's usually pretty difficult for someone who isn't paying attention. I have to say, it's a lot of fun. I'm kind of enjoying it because it's. <laughs> it's almost kind of a troll character because with every hit, like stars or hearts or pink flashes seem to fly out everywhere, and it's. It's very. <laughs> it's a very.、Uh, it's gotta be a very frustrating character to play against. In addition to her various kinds of weapons, she has moves that can reset those counters. So if you know how to. Pretty much combo those in right and get the order in.、Uh, you could end up using your favorite weapon pretty frequently, which gets annoying because I like the magical frying pan where I can just hit stun, hit stun, hit stun, do my grab move, reset the counter, and then start the process all over again. 
Granted, this won't work on anybody who's actually good, but... <laughs> in this particular situation, I find it a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah. If, uh, if you haven't checked out Platinum, I highly suggest you do. Or don't, because, um... In case you weren't aware, they're actually coming out with, I believe it's called Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extended. I guess you would call it like an Ultimate Marvel version of the game. But you know, at least uh, at least they waited a couple years to release that, so no word on whether that will be DLC. But I'd say it's probably worth waiting since they will include this character anyways. But uh, my commentary is coming up to a close pretty soon, so thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, subscribe, and all that fun, so yeah, have a good one, folks. Bye. Platinum! <laughs> Man!